In this lesson, we're given a number of equations, inequalities, and they want us to maximize or minimize based on those constraints that they gave us. And when they say constraints, it's just the equations that they give us. And there's all kinds of applications for this out in the world. These are just kind of generalized equations to introduce the idea to us. So let me demonstrate how we can do this. And I would encourage you to use a graphing utility, a calculator, or something like Desmos.com. I'll demonstrate this using Desmos. So here's a sample type problem you might run into in this lesson. <clears throat> Maximize q equals 7x plus 5y given the following constraints. So I've got three equations here, notice, as my constraints. I'm going to graph those in Desmos. And there's different ways we can do that. I'm just going to type them directly in here. 4x plus 2y less than equal. I'll go ahead and open this keypad up. So less than or equal 22, and there it goes, it graphs it for us. Let's keep going. y is greater than or equal to 3. Type that in. Notice there's overlap here, so this region and this blue region, and I'm interested in the overlap, okay? But let's put our last equation, x is greater than or equal to 2. Now, let me close that a little bit. So on my graph, and I'll move it around here, we are interested in the overlap region. Where do they overlap? Okay, all of these inequalities. And I hope you can see it's this little triangle right here. So that's what I'm interested in. The values I'm going to test now are all of the intersections. So right here is a point, 2, 7, 2, 3, and then 4, 3 right here. So again, where these three regions overlap, the intersections of those are the values that are going to possibly maximize or minimize. Now I can't just take the highest one and say, oh, that's the biggest one, it's going to maximize. That's not the case. You need to plug them in and test. So let's make note of those values, and then we're going to test them. So 2, 7, let me just write those over here. If I can find my cursor. So we've got the points 2, 7, and I think we also had 2, 3, right? So let me just make note of these. So 2, 3, and then our last one was 4, 3. And depending on the equations they give us, you might have more points that you need to test. It just kind of depends. <coughs> Okay, now here's the big equation. Q equals 7x plus 5y. We just need to test each of these values. So let's go ahead and do that. So for this first point, I'd have 7 times 2 plus 5 times 7, right? And so I get 14 plus 35, so 49 for that one. For the second one, I've got 7 times 2 plus 5 times 3. This one's going to be smaller, but 14 plus 15, so that's 29. And then for the last one, I've got 7 times 4 plus 5 times 3 again. So I have 28 plus 15. 28 plus 15, what's that? 43. And of course, you can just use a calculator for these. Well, notice which one was bigger, this one. And so the maximum would be 49 at the point 2, 7, and that would be my answer. Now, what if they had changed this and they said minimize? Well, then I would test each of them, and notice this would have been the min, and so I would have put these coordinates in for that minimum. So they'll ask both. They'll say maximize or minimize, but you solve them exactly the same. So graph the constraints. Look for the regions of overlap and those points of intersection, and then test those points to find either the max or min, depending on what they ask you for.